Hi, I'm Noel Reynolds with Octel Lucid, and I'm here on the Interop floor, Interop 2015. I'm a senior systems engineer on the west coast of uh, the United States, and uh, I'm demonstrating intelligent fabric today. Or actually, I should say, I'm demonstrating a component of our intelligent fabric framework. So, intelligent fabric is all about simplification of the deployment, the uh, operations, and the uh, self-healing of your uh, network environment. Um, we at Alcatel Lucent have seen what's happened in compute and storage with provisioning and deployment in the last five to ten years. Uh, really simplification designed to uh, make it easier for IT staffs whose budgets being decreased, uh, who have fewer resources, fewer people. Uh, and so we've looked at the network and said, well, what can we do to make things simpler? But I think what's different, what really sets us apart from some of the other vendors is we've asked ourselves that question in terms of how can we do that in a standards-based way so that we're not you know, we're not being proprietary, we're not locking you into a, to a specific solution. So we have a very simple demonstration here, uh, here on the, uh, the interop floor, where I have two simulated distribution switches with uh, both a, a video source and a video destination and some communication going back and forth between them. These, these devices are actually attached via SPB access ports, shortest path bridging, 802.1aq, and we have a simulated core switch. And in this demonstration, we've simulated that the core switch has failed. Uh, it could be fa it could have failed, we could be replacing it, but the idea is that these switches are already pre-configured. We're going to introduce this core switch into the network as though we've just pulled it out of the box, and when we do that, it's going to automatically discover what it's attached to and self-configure in order to support your business needs. So down here I have these two 6900X20s. Uh, these are actually our, distri our simulated distribution switches, and they connect up to our brand new 6900Q32 switch, which has 32 QSFP ports, uh, and each of those QSFP ports can run at 40 gig, or they can be split into four 10 gig ports, and you can have up to 108 10 gig ports on a single 1U chassis. So in this case, this, these four 10 gig ports are split into two groups of two, which are link ags going down to these uh, two distribution switches. So right now, this link is unplugged, and we're going, we've are going. we cleaned the configuration on that, so it's just like if you just pulled this switch out of the box. So when I plug this link back in, there's a several things that are going to happen. So once the link comes up, uh, the switch is going to the core switch is going to detect that on those two link ags are LACP PDUs, and because of that, it's going to configure two separate link ag groups, which will go down to the distribution switches. The other thing that it's going to detect is that on those link ags, it sees SPB traffic, and so it's going to configure this core switch as an SPB backbone switch. And typically within 15 to 30 seconds, we'll see that the traffic will continue, the video stream will start back up, and the uh, IP traffic will continue to, to flow. Uh, we're not limited to just link aggregation, we're not limited to just link aggregation and um, uh, SPB. Uh, we also can automatically configure OSPF neighbor status, we configure ISIS neighbor status. Uh, we can, if you have servers or third-party switches or uh, if you have uh, other devices that are attached to the switch, through protocols like MBRP, which is also a standards-based means of deploying VLANs through a network, uh, we can essentially discover whatever you have connected to the switch and essentially do the right thing to bring your network back up in a very timely manner.